Great start from Monday morning. That's the air filter. Absolutely soaking. Well, this is the only post that we could get hold of. It's tantalised. Again, I'll have to wear, make sure I wear a mask. And uh, if you look at all those little lines, that's an incised post. So they put those lines in there so that uh, the tantalising treatment process penetrates a little bit deeper. We've started to burn it now already. Well, this was the problem this morning. Down there, there is a drainage hole. There you are. Just see a little drainage hole. And where I park my van underneath these silver birch trees, these leaves had blocked this drainage hole just there. And the water was spilling over on the inside on top of the, the engine head and going into the air filter. So, oof, could have been a problem. But lucky enough, we're okay. Morning. Well, look at this. Absolutely miserable today, and uh, this is what we have to put up with as landscapers or contractors across the country. But we've got to get on with it. Well, here we are. This is the post that I done yesterday. We burnt them off. Not looking too bad. They're looking. They're okay. They just got to be stained. Um, got to get all this timber on. This this four by two is for the um, cedar battens. And we've also got some joists as well, and 4x2 as well, that we've got to get on. So, let's do it. Well, here we are, trying to bring it to you as it happens. Um, we had a flat battery this morning, and that may have been a result of... What was it, Jack? Oh, yeah, the water was going on the loom, wasn't it? So, we're still probably having a short on there, but he changed the air filter yesterday. Common fault, isn't it? Yeah, so we had a flat, flat battery. So we're getting the timber on, all nice and tidy. Jack tidied the van up yesterday. It's all looking clean and tidy, sat on. It's just getting the post on now. Um, but we've got to get this up today, haven't we, Jack? So this is going to be a new one for Jack and me, Jack and I together today. Um, I haven't uh, done a pergola for a while now, but you can see, look at the timbers. Look how they're looking like the, the Aero decking. So we've got to bring it together, because otherwise it'll just, what do you reckon, Jack? If, just imagine if we had like aero decking and gre green timber, tantalised timber, wouldn't it? So we're just we're going the extra mile. The, the attention is in the detail. Um, as you can see, this four by two is slightly different from the uh, six by two. Not just in colour, but um, it's a softwood, but just just a different grain. There's less knots in this one in comparison to this one. And what you'll find is where it comes from in places like Latvia and and um, the Scandinavian uh, countries is that uh, I believe and my understanding is that listen to this Jack the some of the softwood deckings that come in from uh, Scandinavia is a slow growing spruce so you'll have less knots in it in comparison to the homegrown so what you probably find is not this I'm not trying to define what's homegrown and what isn't with this because I'm not quite sure but a lot of this stuff does come from places like Latvia and Lithuania and a Scandinavian country so we got slightly different uh, grain uh, from one piece to another piece uh, but let's just see how it turns out I remember the other day telling Kyle my son about uh, Ronnie Barker when he did the have you seen this Jack the four candles no so he goes in the shop and he's behind the counter Ronnie Barker and the guy goes in and says can I have four candles so the guy, Ronnie Barker comes up and puts the four candles on on the on the top. One, two, three, four. And he said they're not four four candles. He said they are. There's one, two, three, four. What the guy meant was four candles, 
from a fall. So when I was in there, very, very nice Polish lady. And I got to explain the Polish bit because her accent was a little bit different, of course. And uh, she said to me at the end, when I got my cappuccino, my, my latte and uh, my pan of chocolate, she said to me, do you want a carrot tray? I said, a carrot tray? And she said, a carrot tray. But what she meant means a carry tray to put my coffees in, <laughs> not a carrot tray. So anyway, that's my funny one for the day. Get my hair right. Um, here we are. We've arrived. We're, we're back on uh, this project in Chapstow. And um, have a look at this. This is the aero decking. It's looking absolutely fantastic. But what we're not going to do is we're going to have to work around this this morning. There's a cladding over there. And we don't want to compromise this surface in any way, shape or form whatsoever. So we're going to be opening. We've got a brand new sheet to open up over the top of that. And then we're going to put the boards here this chipboard over the top of the sheet to ensure that we don't make a mess. But we've got to get on at some point today. Just going to take a long lingering look at Jack now in a minute. Um, he's geared up. Uh, let's just see if he's got anything to say. If he's... You happy today? Nah. Raining. Right. Are we going to get on? Yeah, why not? Oh. Cheers, Jack. Well, there's our sheet. We're going to get that out now. We're going to make sure that we don't dirty this. The worst thing you can do on any job is just mess up what you've done. It just looks horrendous. Okay, uh, I want to show you the components now. But what we have over here, we've got some 4x2 tantalised. This is going to be for our to create a structure, a timber frame for this feather edge fence, which we're going to fix the cedar cladding to, which goes all the way around, because you can see get all this work done all the porcelain looks absolutely fantastic and then you're left with this feather edge fence which, which isn't good you know it doesn't look so so neat with this uh, contemporary furniture and the whole theme of the garden but what we have here these are the joists that we're going to be putting on the top i do want to have them too thick didn't think they needed to be that thick uh, the, they, these are four by twos uh but you can see the effect how good they actually look uh this is the six by two which is going to carry the four by two We've done one there, you can see the colour of it, which looks good. And this is the effect of the burning of the post. You can see one that hasn't been done and one that has. And it does look good. So let's see what this brings. Right, rather than uh, bring a post over here, use a post to try and hold up what we're doing is I've cut the end of the post off of the intended post that we're going to use and I'm lining up with the joist underneath hopefully this now when we plumb it up will actually miss that guttering through there well I bought a brand new tripod but I haven't got it here but as you can see we've got the first post in and that's inside the decked area good bit of concrete in I want to show you what we've done here now. I've um, got a little bit of a chip there, but we'll we can put some Rubo Monaco on that. But you can see the concrete that Jack's mixed up is absolutely perfect, nice and strong, and uh, we haven't put too much water uh, on it. But it's all the way around that post, and that's over 18 inches in there, at least 18 inches, 20 inches, maybe even two foot. Uh, but what we've got now, we've actually just screwed the post to stabilise it at the moment to the stud work, so that can't kick out either way it can't go anywhere and it can't go down because there's concrete underneath it as well so we've got the post at a length now which we can deal with and cut down to size when we want it you're gonna be on youtube now yeah, what have you brought us and who made them okay. all of it yeah. let me ask you a question do you think we've done a good job so far Good man. Well, we've just got the uh, the second post in and uh, we're going to get the sheet back down, get the, the decking board back in place. Um, but yeah, look, seriously, um, it was really, that was a real nice moment where little Harry brought us some uh, a brownie out. Uh, cheers, Harry. It was really good of you. And it just goes to show when you have that relationship with your clients and it works well and we wouldn't take advantage in any way at all, but um, absolutely brilliant. And that's the relationship you want. All your customers bringing you brownies.
Okay, um, it's absolutely pouring now. Uh, some people say, why don't I cut this on the ground? But we've got so many different heights to work with, so I just might as well cut it up here. But what you can see, we're cutting an inch in either side, so the juice is going to sit on, on either side of that two inch piece there. And then we're going to have to uh, colour that top, uh, stain it with something to make sure that no water ingresses into the end grain. Well, we've got that piece in and you can see it's coming together now. It looks really it's difficult to see on this camera. Let me just see if I can get a little bit closer. You can actually see the shape there. Look, absolutely stunning. It works. It works perfectly. And uh, it's coming together. So we're going to put our other one on the back now. Coming back now, um, we've had Jack gave me a cheese sandwich, but we're just looking at that now, and uh, it really looks quite, it's got a bit of an oriental flavor to it. It's not got those, like we see some burgers, we got the 45 on the end. Um, we're gonna keep them square, I like it. Uh, but the attention is in the detail, and if you look the end, the end of that uh, log store, let me just see if I can scroll in on there now. The end of that log store there, you can actually see the green tantalized timber, so we're gonna have to cover that up from this angle. We're gonna to have to put another little trimmer around there. Um, but I like it. It's looking good. I'm feeling confident now. Let's get the two front posts in now. I just wanna show you the depth there. And on there, we have literally 22 and a half inches. 22 and a half inches, so that's, that's more than enough. That's, that's plenty of depth. There's gonna have a lot of concrete around it and some concrete underneath, it's so important. Put some concrete underneath. got the third post in uh, using the post creep we must remember to color that end as well to get some uh, protection on that cut edge Jack's just putting the, the juice on the top. They're not lined up yet. They've got to be cut down and we've got to sort them out, but we want to see what it looks like. And uh, they're the ones that are, I coated and uh, looking right, they've got to drop down. We've got to house out the six by two, so they drop down um, in it like a little housing joint. And uh, see what it looks like tomorrow.